Let the recording continue. Downloading file one. Thank you. The story so far. At Emmy and Luke's urging, Leighton recounts his past experiences with the Mask of Chaos. Is there a clue about the mask hidden somewhere within Leighton's past? There's always something in Leighton's past. So, oh, in the filler episode, yeah, yeah. That just makes me think of, like, playing Ace Attorney and them having flashbacks every five seconds. And I'm like, I just the first I saw that. Of the Mask of Chaos. It must have been about 18 years ago. <gasps> Layton, how old are you? <gasps> He's gotta be like 40. <gasps> Is that? Is that? <laughs> it's so much more. Again, Herschel. Guess that means you'll be going with me tonight. Damn, Layton, you hot. You look like you should be like in a band. I'm not interested in archaeology. Stop with the nonsense, Herschel. What happened to your sense of adventure? You can't be serious. Yes. I'm very serious, Herschel. I'm going to make archaeological history tonight. Do you have any idea what this could mean? It'll be the find of the century, and you're coming with me. So what do you say there, old chum? You're in, right? Randall, I don't... Okay. Okay. Oh, wow! Are you guys in college, or is this high school? This time we'll Damn, look at his hair! Home. You won't regret it, I swear. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this. I've heard that one before, Randall. I don't have time to go on another one of these silly expeditions of yours. Hey, he's so poofy! I'm telling you, this is different, Herschel. It isn't some silly adventure. I think I might be onto something big this time. Oh, really? Do tell. You know, I actually really love the fact that this game is voice acted like 80% of the time. Something priceless. Something indescribable. Something beyond your wildest dreams, Herschel. All right, class, you've proven your legs work. Now please <laughs> exercise your backsides and be seated. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Collins. <clears throat> Just meet me tonight. Soon our names will be in all the papers. You'll be the famous scholar Herschel Layton. Okay, well... Listen to Mr. Collinson's hey. Yeah, his lessons are fairly easy, because he sucked. Oh, puzzle! Now that you're all seated, kindly open your books to page 13. Today we'll be talking about Donald Rutledge and his groundbreaking work, Ancient Histories. Now, Rutledge investigated a number of noteworthy archaeological sites looking for similarities between them. He identified the linking factor, the common denominator, the universal, ubiquitous name, Azran. Years later, we barely scratched the surface of all there is to know about the Azran civilization in their time. But the discovery of the Azran was a huge breakthrough for archaeology initiating unprecedented research into the field. We have here some incomplete records of an excavation from the boom period. Let's see, Leighton, can you help fill the gaps? Uh, of course, sir. Yeah! Puzzles! My favorite, even 18 years ago. Puzzles are 35 picarats. A, B, C, and D each found a unique object at a different depth in the ruins. Based on the following statements, fill in the missing information about each artifact, its material, and its depth. The doll is made of wood. B dug 100 centimeters deeper than D and found something at 150 centimeters deep. An item made of blue-tinged metal was found deeper down than the wooden one. The pot is made of sandy clay. 
The coin was found in a shallower place than the sword. Wait, there's a sword. Okay, 200. Well. Oh. So this was at 50 cent. Oh! Oh, okay. 50 centimeters. An item made of blue tinged metal was found deeper than the wooden ore. It's not really. Wait, a wooden one. It's like the Clam Man puzzle. Okay, the doll is made of wood. Blue tinged metal was. And. Blue tinged metal! Down deeper down. The pot is made of sandy clay. Um. Wait, what is the first thing? Oh, that is there. Okay, pot. Wait. Hmm. Wait, so is that the material then? Sandy clay, okay. Wood, okay, that's the material. I would say, what if the... Sword? Coin? Maybe? Sword? The doll is made of wood. An item made of blue-tinged metal was deeper down than the wooden one. Like that, maybe? The coin was found in a shallower place than the sword. Okay. The doll is made of wood. I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume the sword is made of blue-tinged metal. If that was sandy clay, all is made of wood. And B dug. Oh no! Okay, B has to be 150 centimeters. So that is 50. Shit. Not deeper than the wooden one. Oh, then that's um. Hmm. Unless... Yeah, okay, then that would have to be that. Okay, I think we got it. Doll is made of wood. B dug 100 centimeters. Yep, deeper than B. And found something, yep. Blue tinge metal was found deeper than the wooden one. Yep. Pot is made of sandy clay. The coin was found in a shallower place than the sword. Yes! Submit! I'm not certain. No! Oh yes? Did I get Okay, it? that was the worst affirmation face. I thought I fucking ruined it. Okay, thanks, young Layton. Not very good at this puzzle solving business yet. A found a metal blade 200 centimeters underground. B dug 150 centimeters to find a wooden doll. C found a clay pot at a depth of 100 centimeters. D discovered a stone coin 50 centimeters down. It was a stone coin. Yeah, free sword! Free real estate, yo. Yeah, that was the worst. I was, he was like, I don't know. Ugh. And I'm like, did I do it? Puzzle 13, artifacts is now in your puzzle index. Hmm, yeah, that's quite good work, Layton. Thank you, sir. Right then, let's move on to page 14. Rutledge's most famous discovery was the ancient stone circle of Pleneth. Early theories held that Pleneth was a primitive holy site, but the findings of some intricate artifacts disproved that. These artifacts were the basis for a fascinating comparative study by the paleontologist Doris Pompatus. Sounds like a peach. Just a great guy. Based on a wide range of evidence from different fields, Pompatus came up with radically new ideas about this civilization. She theorized they were scientifically advanced and had a language as evolved as our own. Furthermore, through extensive fossil analysis, she proved that Earth once had a completely different ecosystem. Well, look at his note. I mean, I'm sorry, is it, is it... Is it a stereotype for me to think that anybody with a nose that's three quarters the size of their face is nasally? I just assume. I'm sorry, Professor. I mean, he did sound a little nasally before. 
Oh, also British, but I'm not very good at British accents. Now then, here is a problem related to fossils. Would anyone like to give it a shot? Uh, uh, sir, let me do it, let me! Ah, uh, Scott, all right then. No, his, he's wearing one, but that doesn't mean that's his name. Maybe his name is Randall Ascot. Oh, another puzzle. Fight of bygone days. This fossil was found on a riverbed. Close examination revealed tooth marks suggesting that it was formed when some kind of ancient fish bit into something tasty. Can you tell which of which one of the fish pictured in the book made these tooth marks? I'm Pretty sure it can literally only be this one because there's six, which would be three on one side, three on the other. All the rest of them have eight. Here is the answer. Ha! Okay, see, that's much better uh, affirmation no there. Solution. The answer is A. The shape of the teeth is irrelevant. Looking at the bite mark as a whole, you can see that only three pairs of front teeth made an impression so only a fish without any back teeth could have made these marks. Yeah. God, I'm so good at puzzles! Well demonstrated. I see you've done your homework on this topic. What? It, this is basic stuff, sir. Hmm. Next page. This will be on your test next week, so make sure you take notes. Our forefathers built many ancient edifices here in England of which we've found but the merest handful. Most of them were undoubtedly lost in the passage of history, but their legacy remains in various forms. Sir, sir! You have a question, Ascot? Go on then, out with it. Sir, have you heard of the Mask of Chaos? Are you being impudent, Ascot? Of course I've heard of it. The Mask of Chaos is a mythical treasure documented by Donald Rutledge. Uh, what's your opinion, uh, sir? Does it exist? I find it hard to believe that such a legendary object could lie undiscovered for so long. If I thought such things could still be found, I would not be teaching at the school but out digging for treasure. Even if its existence could be proven, it would be quite impossible to find, and you know it. So I'd appreciate it if you'd stop wasting lesson time with irrelevant questions, Ascot. Uh, right. Sorry, sir. Randall apologizing? <laughs> That's a first. Hmm. Since you're so keen, Ascot, you can solve the next problem, too. Uh, Jesus, it's a gauntlet of puzzles, and I just started this. Okay. Puzzle 15. Fix the fossil. The splendid fossil is broken into nine pieces. It was actually restored once before, but well, let's just say one of the research assistants is a bit of a butterfingers. It used to be a three by three square. Think you can get it back to normal? Since it's quite fragile and broken enough as it is, you can only move three pieces at a time, horizontally or vertically. Put it back together in the center of the grid. Um. Oh, I can all. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, did I just. Oh, wait, never mind. I was like, did I just do it? I didn't do it. Um. Ah! Now I. No. <laughs> never mind. I think that that has to go. Oh, you know, this is a little weird. Okay, I gotta, let's uh, restart really quick. So we want that to be out front. That needs to be over there.
Aha! Okay, actually, that's not, well, that's almost a ha. That needs to be, uh, that needs to be turned. Wow, I hmm, might not be very good at this, actually, guys. There's a distinct possibility I'm actually very bad at this. Oh, no. Okay, th now that piece is just kind of hanging out. Wow, this is even worse than before. Let's restart. <laughs> Unfortunately, the way this puzzle works is when they said you can only move three pieces, you have to move it like this. Like, these single pieces I can't move, or two pieces. It has to be three at a time or nothing. Like, I can't move that over. They've all got to be butted up against each other. Otherwise, it's no good. Like, even here, I'm like, man, if I could just scoot that up, that would be cool. But it's okay. We're gonna make this work somehow. Get it back up into the middle, and let's take a look. This needs to be over there. That needs to be there. This needs to... Well, that's actually right where it needs to be. <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, uh, that's, those are all jumbled. Ah, aha, uh, the, maybe, okay, never mind. I thought, sorry, I made a triumphant noise. Everything's right except for these two. Um, okay, now we're back to this. Okay, I'm hint. Jesus, this is. You can put this fossil back together in just four moves. Okay, so undo. We gotta do this in four moves. Just four moves. I did it! Four moves! No. How did the fu- One? Listen to this, Herschel. Every puzzle has an answer. <clears throat> you know, actually, I'm okay. If the hint says I can do it in four moves, it makes it a lot easier to realize that it's just gonna get really dumb if you keep going forever. Who would've thought it was so simple? Not me! Thanks! Game. Oh, rediscovered ruin. Okay, is that all? All right, students, that's it for today. You may tidy up your desks and go. Wow, today's class just flew by. Old Collins may be grumpy, but his lessons are blooming fantastic. Hmm. What got into you today, pestering him about the mask? Is this to do with your treasure hunting expedition? <laughs> oh, so you want to know now, do you? You do! Don't deny it, Hirsch! Hey, no need to be smug. I just wondered why you'd be daft enough to wind up old crotchety Collins. Mm, well, I suppose if you come over to my house later, I could tell you about it. I mean, if you really want to know, I can't really hide it from you, can I? Randall, old chum, sometimes I think you live on a different planet. Ha! I wish! Okay, hint coin. Oops, I can't click on, okay. Uh. Hint coin. Because I just used that for that, and now... Hey, oh, you found a tiny fountain pen. Herschel, isn't that stealing? Theft? 
I think I prefer my own desk near the front. Hint coin. Hint coin. All right, back to math. Do do do. Out in front of the fancy statue. Oh, this guy looks like he might have a puzzle for me. Oh no. Uh, greetings, Dalston. Eh, up, it's Brat Scott and Layton. What rubbish are you two ninnies going on about today? He looks kind of like a bully. It's not rubbish. Even you have to see that archaeology is fun. Or are you too cool for fun? What's the point in fun if it's not going to earn you any cash? Oh. I'm setting up my own hotel business, and I'm going to make an even bigger fortune than my old man. I bet the only reason you like all that ancient history guff is because it'll get you out of the hole, right? I happen to like this village. I'll only be leaving to get a degree in archaeology, and there's nowhere better than Gressenheller. Good. While you're off mincing around in London, I'll be building my hotel empire. Not a problem, Dalston. I'll just use your hotel as a base of operations for my fact-finding expeditions. Nope. Well, well, now we can go other places. Let's search, let's search St. Vernon's. Seems wrong to look in other people's lockers. Yeah, but you were totally okay with just freaking taking somebody's tiny fountain pen. Layton, sometimes I wonder about you. Uh, statue. Hint coin. A bit of sunlight certainly makes the place bright. Well, that's the whole point of sunlight. Best time to look out of the window is at sunset. Can I look at these lockers? Where's your locker? Oh! Umbrella puzzle! That umbrella has been lying there for donkey's years! Hasn't anyone claimed it yet? Poor umbrella, I feel your pain. And ah, that reminds me of a puzzle! Oh no. The Broken Brawly. A friend of yours is having a bit of trouble in a shop. A sudden gust of wind has broken my brawly! It was my favorite, too! And why aren't Zunder or Arcee here? I need to know these weird... <laughs> these weird words. I was hoping to buy a new one with the exact same design, but all the umbrellas here look pretty similar, and I don't know which one to get. Which umbrella should he pick? Yeah, the brawly. Uh, okay, it definitely has polka dots. And a lined outside. That's got way too many duty boppers. This one only has one, two, three, four, six. That has too many. Can't be D. I feel like this one also has too many. Since that would be one. Yeah. Okay, D and E are out. B is also out. So it's between A Oh, it's got to be C, because A has a J thing. Here goes. No, what? Okay, uh, Layton. I thought maybe. Spot parts that are clearly different. Try again. What do you mean? There was only six. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. The handle has a little duty bopper. Wait, so maybe it is B. You know what? It's got to be B then. We can't see any of the other polka dots. I think this may be it. Hey, what is that like? Looks as if I got that it. face. That's a terrible face. Yeah, handles different. See, yeah. Okay, well, it did it. I'm asking them if Brawly is the tomb they actually use for Umbrella. They're busy playing Stardew. They're too cool for stream. The broken Brawly is now in your puzzle index. There's no name written on it and nobody's going to claim it. I'll just leave it there as part of the scenery. Why don't you take it as your own and give it a good home? No, of course not. Dang, that guy's got quite the pompadour. There's always tons of notices. Maybe I should read them. The notices were important. They'd make them legible. I mean, this is also true. 
Uh, is one of these lights a hint point? There's a lot of them. Hand coin! Back to that. Bye. Cutscene! It's simple, Hush. Mary! Aren't you going to need your bag for study group tonight? Oh. <laughs> Who's that cutie? Angela. <gasps> hey, Angela? Michael. Did you get out of practice early today? Yes, Herschel and I have some important things to do. Can you two wait a minute while I get my things? She's as radiant as ever. And she likes the most handsome chap in town. Too bad for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, lady. Oh, Angela. Don't you take that from him, Herschel. Randall, is that any way to treat your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I suppose I could be a little nicer. Yeah, you could be nicer to him. Herschel needs to stop running away from his future in archaeology. You like another Christmas he card? No, I got you, Ellie. Away. He's just not interested. Thank you. I think I actually have to drop some stuff off at the post office uh, within the next day or so. Uh, not again. So I will make sure to get that written up and the sent out. Chaos. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the Master of Chaos. What is it about this fairy tale that has captured your imagination? Always the skeptic. <laughs> That's all right. At least I won today's fencing match, which means that tonight we do what I want to do, correct? <laughs> Eight o'clock, right, Herschel? Angela, you too. To the future <laughs> that awaits. Best friends forever. Typical Randall. He never gives up. I might be able to get some reading in before going round to his, though. Dang. Herschel, you, you... Dude, you gotta chill out. Sometimes you just need to... Sometimes you just need to have fun. The school looks unremarkable, but it's steeped in history. Just like my favorite tea. Nope. Hit coin. Hit coin! Yeah. Oh! You found the triumphant emblem! See, I'm getting better about sending things out, and hopefully, maybe, it'll actually get there before Christmas. I don't know. I think that... I know I, I, I sent one to... I gotta check with Kat and, and Arcee, because I sent them both cards. But they didn't... Kat's... The last time, Kat showed up in, like, less than a week, and then Arcee's took, like, half a month. Oh god. Sneezies. Yeah, yours also took I don't know. Maybe it's just customs in Sweden and Britain are a lot worse than Italy. <laughs> that Randall has got far too good at fencing lately. I'm not gonna let him win the next bout. That's right. Leighton, you have to become the very best. Also, thank you. I'm just glad I have the mute on command button so you guys don't have to hear my sneezes like at full volume. It's been almost three years since we moved to Stansbury. Wait, oh, is this your house, Leighton? That's a nice house. Very large. You know who else is large? Kingpin from Spider-Man. I can't get over the fact that he, <laughs> like, I love, I gotta say, I really, really liked um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but every time Kingpin was on screen, everybody in the room was like, large. While I was watching it with my friends, because he's just very large. He's a wide boy. Okay, um. Hinkoi! Oh! Cycling down from school is such a rush! Yeah, you gotta you gotta get the that. Oh yeah, what have you been doing today, uh, Ellie? Have you been doing more TFT or other stuff? Ugh. I kind of woke up a little bit late, even though I went to bed not that late, but I think I was just, like, tired from the drive and everything. Hello, Ma, I'm home! Mother! Oh, Herschel, dear, would you come over here for a second? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, of course. Um, is something the matter? Do we not get to see your mother? 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 Mother! 
Look at her, she's tiny! Mother, what's wrong? Well, mother, I'm gonna check for hint coins over here. All I know about this is that it was taken by somebody famous. Hint coin. Thank you for the hint coins, mother. Hint coin. These documents are pretty boring. Whoa! Layton. And... Uh, learning is never boring. There's so many! Mom must be making marmalade. A puzzle! Mother, I'm sorry, I... I thought of a puzzle. Ah, uh, nothing like a good glass of fruit juice in the morning to start the day nice and refreshed. Oh yes, the label! Every bottle comes with a fruity puzzle. Here we go. What does this one say? I do love my fruity puzzles. That's juicy! That is the puzzle name, is that's juicy. The owner of a juice factory wanted to send a gift to three important customers. To make sure nobody was offended, they were all given 18 liters of juice. But there weren't enough of each bottle size to make the shipments identical. Still, the owner was able to make up three shipments of 18 liters using different sets of small, medium, and large bottles. Can you work out how many liters of juice each size bottle holds? All sizes are whole numbers, by the way. Okay, so they all have 18 liters of juice. <laughs> so, what if this is three, what if it's three, two, one? That'd be six, nine. Oh no, that's not way. Oh, hmm. Two big bottles and a bunch of little bottles. But all of these equal the same amount. I feel like this is something I'd need to write down. Do, do, do. Yeah, okay. Puzzle book, go! You guys like that? The sound of paper. Okay, so. Let's see. L plus M. M, M plus S, 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 L plus L plus three, three, four, five, six, six S, and then four M plus six S, which means two M's equal, okay, so if we, like that and that, that means that 2L is equal to 4M. Okay, so 2L is equal to 4M. That first one's a little bit weird, though. Because it's all uneven. But it still adds up to 18. And if you add three odd numbers together, it's going to be odd. So there's got to be at least one even number in there. I did that, turn to another even. So what if it's... Five for the big one, and no, because that's only six. Six for the big one? Ah, 
I think I got it. Okay, I think the big one is six. I think L equals six, and if that equals six, then M equals three. And then we could say S equals one, because then the first one would be L plus, which is six, plus three times three, which is nine, which would be 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And then the second one, L and L is 12, plus six would make 18. And then 12 plus six always make, also makes 18. Ha ha! Uh, okay. Six. Three. One. Submit! I'm not certain. Yay! I, I don't like when he's like, I'm not certain, but it's right, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. The large bottle holds six liters, the medium holds three, and the small holds one. That's a lot of juice. That is a lot of juice. A six liter bottle seems like it would be quite heavy. That's juicy. Ma likes to buy grape juice for the recipes on the packaging. I'd probably pick orange if I had a choice though. Yeah, orange juice pretty good. A hint coin. Don't worry, Ma, I'll help you in a second. I just have a lot of hint coins. Whoops. I clicked off of the thing. I just get kind of scared because uh, the last couple of times I played light and if I click off, it kind of just like crashes my computer or locks it up. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but so far today, it seems like we're OK. I think it's just like a memory leak or something. I've got my task manager up to, to keep an eye on things. And if it gets too hairy, I'll just stop the recording and then figure things out. I guess I should probably like help my mother. Ma. Oh, there we go. All the hint coins. Ma, what's wrong? Thank goodness you're home, Herschel. Your father's in trouble. In trouble? What do you mean, Ma? What What's happened? It's awful. Some strange men in black suits came through the door around midday demanding to see you. What? Your father said they were old acquaintances of his and just went off with them. A and he's been gone ever since. That was hours ago. What on earth could... Where on earth could he be? Oh, I knew those men looked suspicious. Calm down, Ma. I'm sure he's fine. Do you want me to go out and look for him? Yeah, it's like, whatever. We get kidnapped all the time. We're Herschel's. Leighton's. Leighton's. Oh, Herschel, would you? I'll stay here in case he comes home. All right, then. I'll be back soon, so don't worry, okay? Thank you, Herschel. Do be careful. If anything happens, just cry out for help as loud as you can. I'll keep an ear out. What are you going to do, Ma? I'll be fine, Ma. Nothing will happen to me. I'll find Paul and bring him back. Okay, Ma. Time to leave. Back to map. Da -da -da. Search for Pa! Key Pa, no! Oh, that, we're back home. Pa, uh, where are you, Pa? If that's not... Where else can I go? Huh? Oh! This is Pa we're talking about, so he's probably on Pebble Lane chatting to someone. To Pebble Lane! Herschel is very just like... This happens all the time. Dad gets kidnapped. It's cool. Oh, I bet this lady has a puzzle for me! She sure does. Mm -hmm. Hello, Herschel lad! What's the time? Shouldn't you be off home? I'm looking for Pa, actually. Uh, apparently he went out with a group of strange men. Have you seen him? Hmm, Roland? Sorry, I haven't seen him all day. Don't tell me Lucille is having you run around after him again, is she? It's always like this. Your Pa goes missing for two seconds and she works herself into a tizzy and sends out the cavalry. But since you're here, Herschel, maybe you can help me with something. Don't worry, it won't take long. You know, that's what they all say. And then ten hours later, here I am, dealing with some bullshit. Mm -hmm. These 
these two ladybirds settled down on a corn cob earlier and they've been crawling about like crazy. I think they're lost. What? Oh, ladybugs. You need some RNG blessings? Okay, uh, please, RNG Jesus, give Ellie the good rolls for things that she needs in order to succeed and get the stuff that she wants on this day of Monday, the day after Sunday. Amen. Spinning maze. Two, okay, they call them ladybird. Those are ladybugs. I thought ladybird was actually like a bird. One red and one blue have lost each other on this corn cob. Wherever they go, the corn kernels seem to get between them. Can you guide the red ladybird around the corn cob to meet its blue friend? Touch the touch and change the direction the ladybird is facing. Hold the stylus down to have the ladybird walk in that direction. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, dang. There's a lot of corn. Yeah, she is feeling the blues. Don't worry, I'm here. <gasps> oh, no. Not that easy. Guide the ladybird. Oh, okay. That's going to lead to a dead end. It's okay. I can go. I don't know about you guys, but those brown kernels, I don't like that. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, I kind of went a little too far. Da, da, da. Okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't, we're co I'm coming. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. I do like these puzzly ones, though. Like with uh, oh oh oh. Okay. Oh, huh, 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 oh 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 jeez oh jeez. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> da -da -da. Well, of course, I, I would I would hate it if it said that I failed the puzzle, even though I got the solution. Well done. From a ladybird's point of view, a corn cob must seem like an impenetrable maze, especially since I don't think they actually eat, like, corn or anything like that. Amazon Music, I don't care about you. I already pay for Spotify. I don't... I don't need more. Guy the ladybird picks it up and puts... I know, that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, old lady, just like... You could have even just plucked the corn in between them, but no. We had to make it hard for them. Oh, I got crockery! Oh, marvelous! Thank you, Herschel. You're a good lad. If I see Roland, I'll be sure to say you're looking for him. Be careful not to trip while you're running around. <laughs> it's okay, Gloria. It's not dark yet. I've tied my shoelaces, so I should be fine. Thanks, though. No, I suppose you're too big for me to tell you that now. Right, Pa, where are you? You must be somewhere in the market. It's time to look for hint coins, though. Like, oh, <gasps> hint coin. Pumping out, uh, getting water out of that pump is back-breaking work. Is that how you became so strong? Is this your anime backstory, Layton? It's like, I pumped water for 18 years and now nobody can beat me. I'd say this needs a trim. Well, you know, I'd say the bush should be allowed to say whether or not it wants a trim. Hint coin. When did those flowers come into bloom? Hell yeah! Pants coin. Uh, Oh, hello. Oh, where is Pa? I can't see him anywhere. Oh, good evening. Uh, hello, Henry. Are you out shopping? Yes, I've been sent to purchase the week's groceries for the household. I see. That's a bit rough on you, isn't it? Uh, it's just part of my duties. And may I ask where you are bound? Oh, I'm looking for my father. You haven't seen him, have you, Henry? No, I'm afraid... I haven't. Very sorry, I can't help you. That's all right. Um. Uh, right, I suppose I'd better go on looking then. <laughs> yes, I wish you luck. Awkward. I don't play my games to get more socially awkward. New market. Do you have a puzzle? He does! Hello, short friend. Hello, Urshel. You look well today. Uh, good evening, Lionel. 
You know, I just saw that beanpole Henry from the Ascot house. They certainly make that boy pull his weight. Speaking of pulling weights, I've got some bricks from my mom's garden wall, but I can't work out how much they weigh. Why? Well, use a scale hat. That's what they're there for. Oh no. Nine red bricks. Lionel is contemplating a row of nine bricks for his mother's garden wall. Apparently two adjacent bricks in the row are much heavier than the rest, but he can't remember which. He's decided the only way to identify them is to lift the bricks one by one, but to save time, he's going about it in the most efficient way possible. Can you work out the maximum number of bricks he might need to lift in order to find the two heavy ones? Man, this feels like a trick question. These ones are usually trick questions. Okay, but yeah, two adjacent bricks in the row are much heavier. How many bricks? Six are taller? Well, I don't know if the tallness has to do with it. Maybe they're just made out of like a denser material. Or maybe, maybe, and they are adjacent to each other, all of the taller ones. Maybe, it might be six? Let me see if it says anything about that. The key here is the fact that two heavy bricks are next to each other. For example, say Lionel lifted bricks two and four. If they both weighed the same, then which brick could he rule out? Oh! Then he could rule out three because the adjacents would have to be. Okay, so. so I guess four? Maybe four? I don't know. Uh, let's try four. Here goes. Okay, I was like, I can't tell because the way he reacts is bad. Correct, it's four. For example, he might start by lifting bricks two, four, and six. If one of them is heavier, he can lift the neighboring brick. If that brick isn't also heavy, then he knows one on the other side is. If none of the bricks of two, four, or six are heavier than the rest, he can simply lift nine. If nine is heavier, then eight must be the other heavy brick. If nine isn't heavier, then it has to be seven and eight. Okay, yeah, because the nine is the end of the row, so it's like, it would have to be eight, nine. Ah! Look at us. Oh, that's right, clever that is. You have my thanks, lad. Happy to help, I'll be on my way then. Uh, good luck with the wall. Doodaloo! Okay, thanks. Still want them hint coins, though. That's a coffee grinder? Yeah. The smell of coffee is okay, but the aroma of tea is far superior. That's right, Herschel. Never stray from the path of tea. Blimey, all the information a coffee lover could wish for, but not me because I love tea. Ooh, hint coin. Hint coin. Hint coin? <gasps> Fluorescent honey? Wow. Oh. Hint coin. I hope they don't mind that I just... I hope I paid for that honey. Ma sneaks vegetables into everything. Why does she have to sneak it? Is it because your dad? Or is it because you? Did you not eat your vegetables, Leighton? Oh, hello. Another puzzle. What could have happened to Pa? He doesn't usually stay out this late. Oi there, Herschel! Where are you off to in such a hurry? Uh, hello, Uncle Doug. Have you seen Pa anywhere? Roland, can't say I have, no. <clears throat> Herschel, my boy, how would you like to give your Uncle Doug a hand with a puzzle? Well, yeah, so nicely, why not? Oh no. A lick of paint. Oh no. Oh, it's one of these. The prospective tenants of this row of houses have some unusual requirements. One, I want to live next to a red house. Two, 
No blue neighbors, please. Oh, and a house on the end is out of the question. Three. Two neighbors down from a yellow house and no neighbors the same color as us. I'm fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. Can you repaint just one house so that every tenant can have their dream home? Touch a house to change its color. Um, I want to live right to a no blue neighbors, please. Wouldn't that be it? I feel like there's just no blue. Two doors down from the yellow house and no neighbors the same color as us. I, I feel like when they say neighbors, they just mean like direct neighbors. I'm fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. Wait, that was that. Oh, wait. You want to live next to a red house. No blue neighbors. And a house on the end is... But you're... God, I hate this. As long as it's not blue or red. You can reduce the complexity of this puzzle by thinking about how the tenant's requirements limit the houses they can move into. For example, two doesn't want to be on the ends of the row, so they can only be in house B or C. Now let's now take a look at two's other requirements and see which of those ha two houses you could put them in. And no blue neighbors. Well, then you could totally be in B. Hey Dixies, how are you doing today? So we'll say one is B. That's C. Three could be C. Four could be A. Oh no, one. Can oh shit. Wait, no. I want to live next to a red house. But I made that one yellow, actually. Okay, so let's say we made B, C. Or 2, C. And then 1 could be... Oh no, because they have to live next to a red house. Well, then two could be B. And then one could be C. And then three could be D. And then four could be A. Okay, I think I did it. I'm not certain. No, it's wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I'm hardly surprised. God, I hate- I actually hate this. I don't like these kind of things at all. What the fuck do you want from me, dumb bitch? Lick of paint. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I restart it. What the fuck? Let's suppose two moves into house B. That would require house C to be repainted. If you paint C red, that leaves A as the only house that four can move into. Neither red nor blue. Three has to move into either C or D, but that neither satisfies their requirements. So house C can't be painted red. Okay, cool. No, this is a whole ass paragraph. I just want to fucking do stuff. Two has to take house C. Uh, let's say that two moves into house B, but this time you paint house C yellow. That means that house one and three can. Er, so out of the two houses B and C that two can move into, there's no way to repaint C to make everyone happy. So two has to take house C. Okay, so two is here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wait. 
No, no. That's two. Two is there. I want to live next to a red house. Wait, so. If we, if we were three, and I painted that yellow. Fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. I want to live next to a red house. One. Oh, I think this actually works. Because two doors down from a yellow house and no neighbors the same color as us. Want to live next? That's all you, the only requirement you have. No blue neighbors because you're already blue. As long as it's not blue or red. Okay, let's try it again. I think this may be it. He makes the same face whether he gets it right or wrong, and I hate it. Leighton, you gotta be a bit more affirmative. Never mind the cost of materials and labor. The landlord ought to charge all four of them for the time it took to work out which house to paint. I don't know. I'm never really pro landlord, to be honest. Oh, postman bun. Yeah, yeah, I did emulate it because uh, they also talked about an umbrella, but they called it a, a brawly. And I was like, excuse me? Oh. Marvelous, my boy. You truly are your father's son. What do you say you were up to again? Uh, Pa left the house er, in a hurry earlier. Ma is worried and uh, sent me out to look for him. Oh, Tosh. Lucille's always such a worry guts. But if I see Roland, I'll give him the word. Thank you, Uncle Doug. Not often we still use umbrella. Yeah, it used both words, so. Well, Pa's not in town, so I suppose he must have gone on towards the woods. To the woods, I guess. Once I get some more hint coins, because I used a lot, a lot of them. I like coming here for a cup of tea and some homemade biscuits. Ooh, hint coin. Hint coin. Oh, oh, no. hint. hint coin. The top. Hello, sir. You had snow last night and it settled? Yeah, I know um, RC and Zunder apparently had snow as well. Or it's been like flurrying for them. Ha, huh, there you are. Actually, Ellie, has it snowed for you? I know it's not, well, for us, it's not technically winter until like later in December, but I know there are places that have been getting uh, flurries and all that. Oh, that's Pa. Urshel, what's the matter with you? Oh, not like snow snow? Okay, I gotcha. He went off with a group of strangers and didn't come back all day. Ma's going spare. Oh, your mother is just a fuss pot. I told her they were old friends of mine. She didn't seem to think they looked like friends. She also said they looked they were looking for me. What a pair of nervous Nellies you both are. I'm right here safe and sound. As for those men, I know them from years ago. They'd seen you as a baby and were curious to see how you'd grown up was all. They were also part of the mafia, but we don't worry about that. Yeah, the, well, the last time it snowed here in Texas was like in February when we had that terrible freeze and I hope we don't get that again, but they're like, the possibility of it happening is kind of high. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Thanks. <laughs> All right, but what were you doing all the way out here in the woods? They wanted to visit the Norwell Wall, so I offered to show them the way. It's quite hard to find for tourists.
Horus, we haven't been getting many of those lately. Not these days, no, but back when the wall was excavated, Stansbury was all over the news. The tourists streamed in. They flocked in all year round, day and night, just to see the Norwell Wall. Hmm. This must be years before we moved here. I can't imagine Stansbury as a tourist spot. There was a sudden urge of interest, or surge of interest in the archaeology in this little town. All sorts of scholars and researchers started moving in. People who sought to decipher the wall to crack its secrets to gain knowledge of unknown civilizations. Ugh. Oh, you're starting to sound just like Randall. <laughs> oh, you must have a glorious time with your friend Randall then. Anyhow, let's go home. Best not to keep your mother waiting any longer or she'll be having kittens. Yes, let's. I'm starving. We can't let mother have kittens. So it should be snowing any time soon. You say, oh, dang. Oh, that's chilly. Ooh, a feeble lamp. It's been... I think the lowest it's gotten here was like... 8, 7 degrees Celsius. It really hasn't gotten cold, cold. Just cold enough that I need to use my little space heater to not be, like, wake up and be like, It's cold! Okay. Da -da -da -da. Mother, we're home. Father is alive. Ma, Ma, I found Pa. Now, Lucille, dear, didn't I tell you those people were friends of mine and not to worry? Well, I didn't know you'd be gone all day, now did I? I didn't mean to fret, but if you just disappear like that... Uh, Ma, I'll be in my room, okay? Call me when dinner's ready. Into my room in the upstairs. Need a space heater for sec- Well, yeah, you forget I live in Texas where it's always like 20. You get acclimated to the hot and then it starts to get cold. Here's the room. Let's look around my room. We found a hint coin. It's nice to be in my own room again. I can finally read that book. But then I'd have to stop mid-chapter or something. I hate having to stop. But what else could I do? Take the book with you. Hum -de -dum. Hmm. Randall seemed really keyed up today. More so than usual. I'm used to his crazy treasure hunt talk, but he's never been so cocksure before. Maybe he's really found something. Cocksure is a definite Britishism. Come to think of it, weren't he and Dalston arguing over some indecipherable map the other day? Oh, I'm actually feeling quite curious. Randall must be getting through to me. Worrying thought. Still, imagine if we really did discover an ancient artifact. That would be terrific! Herschel! Herschel, dinner's ready! What, already? That was quick. I hate having to stop mid-thunk. How was school, son? Anything exciting happen? Mm, not really, just the usual. Well, now you mention it, I lost a fencing bout to Randall. What's the score now, then? Have they decided which one of you will be going to the next tournament? I'm not allowed... Uh, I'm not about to let Randall beat me, Ma. I just need to be a, a bit more time to practice. That's the spirit. How about some pudding to strengthen you up, then? Oh, uh, no thanks, Ma. You sure, son? There might not be any left after I've been at it. No, no, I told Randall I'd meet him after dinner. Is that okay? Now, isn't it a bit late to be going out? Don't worry, Ma. We're just gonna sit around in Randall's room and talk. Hmm, don't stay out too late, will you? I won't. Thanks, Ma. See you later. Except I need to go find the rest of my hint coins first. Like in here. No. Crayon drawing. Ah, of Ma and Pa. 
My clean room, all down to Ma. Ah, hint coin. At sunset, I'm always too caught up in my book to turn the light on. Love to travel the world someday. Oh, have I got news for you, L Leighton Jr. May not be modern, but I always get a good night's rest. I don't know, it's a pretty nice bed. A puzzle in my own room! What on earth is a puzzle hidden here? Hmm, Randall must have put it here the last time he was over. That rascal! Puzzle 22. Pokem Totems. Who's responsible for this mess? Each of these columns should be three blocks high and have a totem head on top. The heads were arranged from left to right in this order. Yellow, blue, green, and red. Can you use the mallet to shunt the blocks around and restore the columns to their original grandeur? Be careful, though. You can never hit the top block in a column. Think carefully about which order to hit the blocks in. Mallet on the top screen. Move the mallet over an arrow next to a block to highlight the arrow, and then tap the touch screen to hit the block and shunt it in that direction. Can you hit all the blocks into place? Never hit the top block, but we have to get the... Don't... Donk. I feel like I already fucked up. You don't have any moves left. Yeah, how, how am I supposed to get the red one? Yeah, hint. He's trying to fall below their final. Oh yeah, fourth on the. Yeah, but the red one. The red one. But the, how do I have to shunt the red one? Uh. The red one needs to be over on the right. Unless there's, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have an idea. I'm so dumb. Ha, because the whole row will get shunted over. Yay! Okay, okay. As long as it didn't go under, we were good. Puzzles can be quite fun. Yeah. Well done. Even the totem heads themselves seem happy to be back in their places. Or, uh, do they? I don't know. He must have sneaked it in while I wasn't looking. Seriously, is he that desperate to get me into puzzles? Well, you're already pretty into puzzles, bro. Hate to break it to you. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, hint coin. Okay, there we go. That's all the hint coins there. Time to go to Randall's house. Bye, Pa. That's my cottage. Where's Randall's house? Oh, hello, Uncle Doug. Hanging out here at night. Ash, little boy, what are you doing out at this time? Hello, Uncle Doug. I'm just going around to Randall's house. Hey, what's going on, Zunder? Oh, what is the young sir plotting this time? You keep an eye on him, won't you? If anything happens to that boy, his father will have a whole country up in arms. It's all right, Uncle Doug. We're only going to chat. That didn't stop Mr. Ascot from sending you home last time. Try not to antagonize the man, Herschel. He won't even know I'm there. See you tomorrow. Why does Randall's dad not like me? 
back to Randall. Okay, where is Randall's house? Is it up by Pebble Lane? Yeah, young Layton with his froofy hair. He's so... He looks like he should be in, like, some band. All of those questions about... What was it? The Mask of Chaos? What soft-boiled scheme has he cooked up this time? Can't believe you just called your friend soft-boiled. Hmm? What's Dalston doing out here at this hour? Well, before we talk to him, I actually want to check with the professor. He probably has a puzzle. How did I know he had a puzzle? Layton, is that you? Uh, good evening, Mr. Collins. What are you doing lurking around the school gate at this hour? Have you finished the short essay I gave you? Um, pretty much. Mm, you'll no doubt find this puzzle a piece of cake then. I always find puzzles cake, sir. Puzzle 25, Brave the Caves. A young explorer wants to go from point one to point five. To do so, he must pass through the correct four caves in the cave complex shown. The wrong caves are filled with horrible traps. He has with him four photos, A to D, taken by an explorer who made it through successfully. Work out the correct route using the photographs. However, keep in mind that you don't know which photo was taken where. Okay. So we've got a map of the complex. We have different photos. But we don't know which photo was the photo for... There's flowers. So B's got it. That's got to be... Um... That one would have full view of the flowers. I think it would be that one. It's either that or... Shit. No, there's flower, then the blue one's there. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Now let's see. This just leads to, okay. There's a tuft of grass looking through the cave. There's only one place where there's grass, so it's gotta be that one. Um, this one is green. Has two right next to each other. Which I believe would be the top one, because if you looked out straight ahead from that one, it seems to be angled directly at these guys. Which means that this is for the first one. <laughs> oh, that's... Well, that, I guess that's... Even looking from the side, you still can't see anything. I guess that one? It's kind of a weird one, though. I think that's right. I believe that's right, because you'd be looking at... God, it's hard to tell! Is that first one just... All of these look like they just go into a solid rock wall. It's also the only one you don't see. Yeah. You don't think that's right? Yeah. Which part? The Are you talking about the first one? Into two? Four, five? Really? I don't know, because that goes straight out and there's flowers on that side. And trees. I don't see any... Because uh, it's either that one... I mean, it could also, I guess, technically be that one. That does still come out kind of the side. How the tunnel turns would be wrong. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha. So I, okay, so you think that it would probably actually be, um, the first one? 
since you're going through and the tunnel's coming. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because if you're at an angle, you'd probably only see this flower. Like, that one's definitely that plant there. This one... Oh, okay, I see what you're at with the angle. So in that case, I guess this the first one would have to be this guy then, huh? Because I guess if you're looking through it at that angle, you'd still, like, no matter which one you'd go through, you'd probably still see wall rather than other stuff. Okay. I think this is correct. Here goes. Never mind, it's fucking wrong. God, I hate this. Oh, like, I thought maybe. Well, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, wait, maybe it's because... No, that's... Would this be that one, I guess? I just... I, I guess... Well, the way it's positioned... I didn't think you'd be able to see... Oh, well, maybe you can see those two out of there. I guess that's the only one that's not angled. Let's try that one. Not certain. No! God, I fucking hate this, actually. No, I'm hardly surprised. Yeah, you're hardly sur- What the fuck?! Photo A has to be... 3, 4... Oh, which would mean... Fuck. Probably that instead, since it curves that way. Okay, let's try it again. Here I'm just comes. not gonna get any fucking picker rats for this. Okay, that's the correct one. Okay. Puzzles can be God, fun. I hate this. Yeah, go look at the scenery in the distance of each photo. You can tell where they were taken. The light will be on the left-hand side of a cave that bends to the right and vice versa. With this in mind, you can work out the correct route. Yeah, I guess. It's like some of the shit doesn't really seem like it lines up that well, but whatever. Hmm, you have done your homework after all. Yeah, I failed it like four times, but whatever. Yeah, exactly. How are you doing, Control? Uh, yes, sir. Well, don't stay out too late. We don't want your mother to start worrying. I won't, sir. Wow, my mother is notorious for being a worry wart. Dang. Oh, I'm sorry. A worry guts, as it were. Oh, you also have a puzzle. Of course you do. Boy, Leighton, bit late for a stroll. I could say the same to you, Dalston. Do your parents even know you're out? Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? I go where I like, when I like. Hey, I just saw Angela go by. You lot aren't having another one of your little archaeological parties, are you? I don't really know what Angela sees in that posh brat. His parents aren't even as rich as mine. Wow. Uh, well, maybe you're kind of an asshole. Parents need to know. I know. Well, I think that they're still technically in high school right now. So I'm guessing that Leighton right now is like 17 or 18. Are they going to stop him? Yeah. What about you, Leighton? Aren't you tired of playing along with all Brat Scott's potty ideas? I might not care about the archaeology, but I do enjoy listening to Randall in full rant. Oh yeah, that would be, yeah, I know, college, and then university is, like, your guys' is college, where our college is college, you know. He's good at talking, that's for sure, never shuts up, but aren't we getting a bit old for kitty adventures? Okay, we're only 17. Canonically, we are 17 with a full head of hair. They aren't kitty adventures, Dalston. Anyway, we're only 17, which means this was 18 years earlier. So present day Leighton in this game is 35, whereas I'm guessing in like the last game, he's probably like 37, 38. We're already 17, you mean? I thought you'd have grown out of puzzles and riddles by now. Like this one. How easy is this? Mangled maths. 
Dalston has posted Herschel a maths problem. It's written on a homework sheet, but it's torn in several places, making it very difficult to read. Dalston smirks as he watches Herschel examine the puzzle. With an air of self-satisfaction, he says, Still struggling? <laughs> but this is the simplest maths problem ever. Can you help Herschel work out the answer to the problem? Write down the number. Second year of his 17. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like tearing this down this box of cheddar cheese crackers I have because there's not really a lot left in the bag. Solve the simple problem. Something plus 362 equals A. A minus 709? Something 4 equals B. A plus B minus 630 something not... I feel like it's, yeah, and I, I, I feel like it's the, um, I think this is 17 minus 2. Pretty sure the answer is 15. Because if you turn this note upside down, you can see that the, the tear forms 17, and then this other tear makes a 2. Do you guys see it? Write down the number. I'm gonna check. Just smoothing the creases won't help. There are some necessary parts of the equation missing that make it impossible to solve. However, Dalston seems convinced that it's a simple problem. Surely he wouldn't say that about a multiple variable equation. What's going on? Yeah, it's fucking 15. 17 minus 2. It. Yeah! Puzzles can be quite fun. It was the tears in the paper! Fuck you, Dalston. I'm too smart for you. Correct. Hope you didn't tear your hair out. From where Dalston is standing, the torn parts of the page appear to form a much simpler maths problem. 17 minus 2. The answer, of course, is 15. Don't worry about my weird looking 5. Oh no. When, when, they, when it said that it was super easy and I was like, hmm, and then I was like, hey, these tears look weird. I think Ascot's infected you with his puzzleitis. You pretend not to care, but you enjoy it. You and Angela. You were about ready to figure out the original problem? I just was like, I, I think it was literally impossible because of the fact that so much information was missing. I can't afford to get wrapped up in your little games. Not if I want to become a successful mo hotel magnate. By the way, I saw that Aaron boy from the Ascot house carrying two huge shopping bags earlier. Now there's a busy bee and he's no older than us. You never catch me being bossed around like that. Well, you're not Henry, as long as he's happy with it. Yeah, aren't you just the same though, letting his lordship Count Bratula lead you around by the nose? You sound awfully sour, Dalston. If you want to join us, you should just say. Anyway, I really should go. See you tomorrow. Angela, perfect timing. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. Randall seems to be quite single-minded lately. Yeah, that's Randall. I think his enthusiasm is one of the reasons I admire him. I suppose. But that passion makes him easily excitable. You know, you're very good for him. You keep him balanced. Is balanced the same as boring? Uh... No. Randall's lucky. We're both looking out for him. Yes, he is lucky, isn't he? He's got a kind girlfriend who's concerned about his well-being, and a loyal best friend. Ah. <coughs> You'll always look out for him, won't you, Herschel? Promise me. Yes, I promise. <coughs> Henry? Everything okay there, Henry?
<laughs> yeah, he's all like, puzzles are meh, and who cares about archaeology? Even though, in the present time, he's like, my god, I would die without archaeology. I slipped here once before. Let's take care not to do that again. Oh, the way the stream sparkles in the moonlight is just so beautiful. It's true. Where's my matchstick puzzle? Haven't found one of those bad boys yet. I hope things can just stay the way they are, like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I was like, maybe there's a hidden puzzle in the sky. <sighs> right, let's sneak in the usual way. Yes, I think that would be best. Find a way into Randall's room. Is it the moss? Herschel, no! If we're going through the front door, Mr. Askite might see us. Last time he caught us here, he wasn't too pleased, was he? I don't want to think about it. Let's go in through the window. Mm. Wait, which window? I bet I have to zoom around like the side of the house or something. Is this a puzzle? And this ivy on the wall is really the VIP entrance to Randy's room, isn't it? Huh, I reckon I count on one hand the number of times I've been through the front door. Randy's father isn't that bad, you know. He's just very, very strict. Yeah, breaking and entering. B and E puzzle, here we go. Randall hasn't opened the window yet, has he? We'll have to send the signal. Yep, would you care to do the honors, Herschel? Randy, we're here! Don't tell your dad! Oh. That rings a bell. Puzzle is worth 40 picarats. Ring the bell and send the signal to Randall. Set the order in which the four slingshots are shot. The shots will only bounce off the first thing they come in contact with, and any obstructions they hit will break and disappear. Get it right and the bell will ring. Once the slingshots are loaded, touch submit to fire the shots in order. The goal is to make one of the shots ring the bell. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that's gonna break the pot. That breaks a brick. I was like, are we going to destroy a cat? We destroyed the cat. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Rip cat. I know. This is really weird, guys. I did it! Well, I had to murder the cat for science. I'm sorry. Looks as if I got it. We'll glue it back together later. Oh, speaking of cats, Ellie, has your uh has your friend come around and made your cat mad recently? Hopefully Randall heard it. Hopefully uh his parents don't mind that we just destroyed some of their stuff. Here. Great, that should do it. That scene again? Oh no, now we're just in his room, which is a little messy. Oh, 
Oh, uh, hey, Randall. Hi, Beth. Welcome. How are you doing today? I just saw that he woke up. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah, I know 3D and look at him. Th okay, this is, I mean, this game is already a prequel game, technically, because after, um, after the Unwound Future, that's technically like the final Layton game, and then you go back. Uh, but this is 18 years in the past in this game. As you can see, Layton with no top hat, way too much hair. He also doesn't actually care that much about puzzles or archaeology at this point, but he still does the puzzles, so, you know. Yeah, welcome. Not that you know of? Okay. You're still trying to wake up for real? Oh, no, that's fine. Take your time. Get some tea. I don't, I don't remember if you're very much a coffee person or not. But tea is always good. Yeah, he- I know it is! <laughs> He's so fluffy, it's so weird to see it. Like, when I saw him, I was like, he looks like he needs to be in a band. Because it starts off with him and his friend Randall fencing, and I was like, I saw the poof, and I was like, is that Leighton? And then he takes off the mask, and I'm like, dang, Leighton, look at you. Hello, we're not late, are we? I've been waiting ages! Herschel, did you have to protect my Angie from terrible dangers on the way? I am bound to say that the lady did not require my aid, though I would have been glad to provide it had the need arisen. You're waiting for it to take effect, just want to go nap again? Oh. <laughs> oh, come off it. What a gentleman, eh, Angie? Oh, that word! That's his trigger word. Be careful, Randall. So, what is this thing you were going to tell us about? Yes, don't you have something to show us? Patience, patience, my friends! Hmm? Oh, huh? cutscene again? Wait, does he ha- HE HAS IT! Is that the Mask of Chaos? Where'd you get that? That- okay, <laughs> that was a really short cutscene! I was expecting more of a reaction! <laughs> Layton, come on. Couldn't you at least be surprised? Give your friend a little positive affirmation? <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking around at my desk because I'm like, man, one of my nails feels kind of weird and I want to file it down, but now I don't know where my nail clipper file went. It's, yeah, it's my mask! The Mask of Chaos? You mean the real Mask of Chaos? The one and only! Uh, the artifact Donald Rutledge wrote on it, or wrote of in his ancient histories. I found it at last. That's uh, a fake, right? It must be. So we're gonna turn into a green face chaos goblin and sing Cuban Pete. I don't know, but I feel like because okay, earlier in the game, apparently an accident happened at, at some point. We're probably gonna get into that, um, where something had happened to Randall, and I think everybody thinks he's dead. But now I'm like, what if Randall is the, uh, is that masked man who turned people into stone during the carnival? Hmm, because I don't know if they ever found the body. You know how it goes. Nobody ever finds the body, but they're like, well, they're dead. It's okay. They'll never come back and cause problems in the future ever. Yeah, that's a fake, right? It must be. Absolutely not. This is the genuine article. According to Rutledge, the myth goes that he who holds the Mask of Chaos may have anything he desires. That's, uh, incredible, but it sounds a bit, you know, ominous. Yeah, you know, I'm glad I wasn't the only one who thought that, Leighton. Ha! Huh, it's just a legend, Herschel. You shouldn't believe everything you read. Still, when I examined the mask, I made an unexpected discovery. It stole my soul! Something Rutledge didn't mention. Exactly. The mask does indeed possess an extraordinary power. It holds the key to unimaginable fortune and glory. That is to say, if I can crack the puzzle of the mask, it will lead me to the lost treasure of an ancient civilization. Well, what do you say? Doesn't it fill you with a thirst for adventure? Uh, no. To begin with, we don't even know if that really is the Mask of Chaos. Where did you get it from? <laughs> it 
Excellent question, my dear Herschel. I stole it. It wasn't easy. I had to crack a devilish puzzle to get my hands on the mask. A uh, puzzle? What puzzle? Oh, am I gonna look at the puzzle? Take oh. a look at this. Behold. Ch -ch -ch -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That looks like the scrawlings of a crazy man. I don't understand. Randall, are you crazy? We made the trip to Monte Dor to investigate the Mask of Chaos. There, we witnessed a terrifying sight. Civilians petrified before our very eyes. We met Angela Lador, an old friend of the professor's. Oh, I think this is Emmy talking right now. Of a tragic event in Professor Layton's past. Are we going to see that event, though? I didn't get much sleep that night, but the sunrise was quite beautiful. Uh. Chapter 3, Discord and Mont Deor. <laughs> Small. Uh, wh where did Leighton go? Leighton? Hello? Where is... <clears throat> well, it looks like somebody needs more sleep. Don't worry, you stay here while the professor and I investigate, okay? Ugh. What? You're not gonna leave me behind? No! Oh, but nice try, Emmy. I may be half asleep, but you can't trick me. Half asleep, so you admit it then. You could do with a bit more sleep. Sure, you don't want to stay here and take a nap so I can take the title of only assistant? Hmm? No, I'm okay. I, I can investigate too. Come now, you two. Before we set out, let us go through yesterday's events. Okay, well, we arrived here in Mount Deor after we got a letter from Miss Lador. When we went to see her, she told us that a shady character calling himself the Masked Gentleman is stirring up trouble in the city. We even got to see one of his miracles last night for ourselves. The professor and I saw him turn people into stone. The whole city is on edge. If the Masked Gentleman isn't caught soon, we don't know what might happen. Indeed, it is our mission to apprehend the Masked Gentleman and restore peace to Mont Deor. But in order to do so, we must first find out who is behind the mask. Hmm. From what I gather, the police are still fumbling for a lead. With so little to go on, it'd be best to get the full story from Mr. Lador himself. An excellent proposition. I was thinking this might be a good time to pay Henry a visit. Henry! Haha. Uh -huh. So we're going to the Lador's. Maybe we can also check the place where they kept the mask, then. Bunny? Yes, yes, Bunny? What's up, Bunny? Oh, yes. We're also training a bunny how to act so that he doesn't get kicked out of his circus. The ringleader was being kind of a jackass, but now we have a bunny. You go watch Jim Carrey be told goof all for two songs on Layton is no longer fly. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That apparently that was the end of um that part of the flashback arc. But I'm gonna assume there's gonna be more because we know something bad happened, but Layton hasn't really given us a whole lot of details. But I mean, the, at least this rabbit is fluffy and will not ever be not fluffy. 
Can we make carrot cake? Can we make carrot cake? I thought you wanted to talk with me. You smell a treat, do you? Okay, well, yes. Uh, that's what. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's more that we're opening up something. Um, I guess kind of traumatic. Okay, that's the sleepy thing. I need to teach this rabbit how to do stuff. Um, stagger. Wobble on the verge of falling. Use this look tired or ill. Chatter. Okay, there's really not a lot. Then please give him a hug. Yeah. Yeah, the stellar circus. You gotta form actions. Okay, when you're not in the mood for circus training, touch the icons. You can just watch as your rabbit play. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess we've already learned everything so far. Yeah, he's already been... Apparently, Leighton's life is just not... There was a lot of things that happened. We did get to meet his parents, who are very much alive in the flashback, but... They are, we're already kind of old, so I'm like, are they still alive? He doesn't really talk about them. Oh yeah, let's try this toy robot. Ancient ruin left by a lost culture. Small, but perfectly formidable. Okay, we're gonna try to get through here. Land exactly on the goal. We need to land on that. Go over here, and then we go down. He'll smash through all that. There, he'll just bump into that. And I guess this, 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 bunk. I have to get him to land exactly. I gotta. I'm going this way. You're gonna be in and out, gotta finish the transcript really quick. Forgot about it, but oh no! Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck with that, because, ah. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. You don't need more stress, Beth. Just do what you can. Okay, now I'm over here. Um, I might have. I just screwed myself over, guys. battery left. Okay, well, um, oh, well, let's try that. Uh, no, no, I actually, I should have just hit, it was probably like a restart button. Yeah, that was the reset button. Okay. Try something different. I feel like I want to go...
Okay. Did it! Okay, you didn't even have to use the other key. Rediscovered ruin. Yay! Worry about the rabbit show later. I think I'm gonna... Let me stop this recording for now, since we got through that one chapter. <laughs>